Hey guys, welcome back to Clip Artistry Heaven. We talk about all things digital products, Etsy, AI tools, and all the processes and systems that I use to uh, create my products, sell them, and make passive income from it. Passive in inverted commas. <laughs> so if you're new here, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. And today, as part of the created library that I've created for specifically Canva designers, so I'm just going to add on to that series today, we are going to look at how to connect your Google Drive to your Canva um, account so that you can pull designs from your Google Drive into Canva. Okay, so let's get started. There are two ways that you can do this. So at the moment, my drive is not connected to my Canva account. So um, we will be doing this together. I've actually never done this before, but I think maybe just to give some context as to why I'm deciding to do this video today. Yesterday, I did a video while taking my daily walk and I shot it from my phone, obviously, with a selfie stick talking and um, explaining the contents of the, of the video. And when I tried to upload the video from my mobile phone to Canva, it told me that file's too big. Now, the day before, I did the same thing. So outside, sunny day, it wasn't as long as yesterday's video, but I could easily upload it. So yesterday, when I did the same, it told me that it's too big. Or this morning actually the files too big then I thought okay how else can I do this and I thought, okay let me just upload it to my drive on my phone and then from my from um, from my uh, laptop or desktop or whatever I can deny but I thought oh but that's so many steps it's still so many steps and then I went to creative app library and I saw that uh, G drive is one of the apps that you can connect so just in terms of why I'm doing this video and if you maybe are struggling with the same there's a solution so two ways to do it you can, you need to start in a project. So let's say it's a, you want to create a video. Okay, just choosing random dimensions here because I'm not actually gonna do it right now. So you need to be in a creation or at least this is how I know how to do it. Two ways to, to do it. Go to apps, apps on the side here, side navigational bar, click on it. Search Google Drive. Okay, and then you can click connect so that's the one way I'm not gonna do click now that's the one way so the other way that you can do it is to go to share on top click on the ellipsis so the three dots and then click if you've clicked on the ellipsis the three little dots you can then pull down to save over here you'll see Google Drive popping up and then there's also other cloud storage options like Dropbox. I do have Dropbox. I think mine is full. I don't really use it. Google Drive is my choice at the moment, but there's also OneDrive. So it really depends on your preference. For me, it's Google Drive and then you connect. The one that I would like to choose, I would like to connect another one actually. Okay, so continue. You're giving it permission. Okay, so I'll just select all. Continue. This is the first time that I'm doing this, so it tells me everything that is here, all my folders. Okay, so uh, integration works both ways. So you can either export from Canva into your Google Drive, or you can import from your Google Drive to Canva. So let's say, for instance, this is the design that you're working on. If you want to send it to Google Drive or G Drive, then you just again follow the same process. Click on Google Drive and then you will send it, just sending it anyway. Save it as a PNG. Click on it. Okay, and then you click on View Google Drive. And you'll see that it's filed in your Google Drive. Unworth. It's whatever. But it's it's saved in your Google Drive. You just need to open it with the with the format that is compatible. And because this is not the same drive that I connected it to, I need to go to another account. But just a quick overview of how to connect your drive and how to export it to your Google Drive. And so thank you for watching this video and see you on the next one.